All right, traders, George here, and time for an update on gold. Uh, carrying on from the last video I left you guys with, let me just bring you up to speed here. I've got a lot of questions about gold all of a sudden since we've made some new uh, yearly lows here. And I think this would be uh, beneficial to start back a little bit to build some uh, history here. I'm taking you back almost three years ago to this chart where we had this sharp impulse off of the low 1900s here. Uh, once we created that sell impulse, I was able to, and it really sort of activated these math ratios combining divisions of price moving up as well as uh, price moving down and projections and retracements colliding with each other, showing confluence here. Five key price zones back three years ago, what I highlighted was there was not a lot of trading commitment uh, north of this uh, region here, which was in the uh, mid 1300s. And that's fine until you start to break down. And once you do, there's not a lot of trading to support price. So it makes it very easy for price to move down. Uh, obviously, over the last three years, price able to grind down pretty well into the 1500s, which turned out to be support. And then breaking through that, it really fell quite quickly. And that's why we were able to move down to the 1400s so easily. These two ratios combining here, sitting right on top of the first most heavily traded zone. Period over now. That's the only reason uh, why we moved down where we did and why we stalled out there for a while. So now you know that. You also know that we've broken to some new yearly lows into the 1160s. And if you look here, here's the 1280s, which turned out to be a key resonant zone for the market uh, for quite some time. And down here, this zone is in the 1140s to the 1130s, uh, with a nod to what I would call some noise a little bit above, just around, uh, just north of 1200 there. So price is broken down all the way from here down into this zone. So you know that this is a look back from three years ago on a weekly chart. Here's where we are now. We've got to do this much work to get an appreciation for where we are and where we might be going. So the last video, I highlighted this obviously after breaking down here from the 43s hitting uh, targets below and then finding a bit of a bounce. So on the bounce, testing to see what kind of strength the bulls might be able to muster. Uh, breaking uh, this downtrend line here and then this little mini one here, we just got a little bit above that over 43s, which was a, a step in the right direction, but almost instantaneously the bulls let go of price. As soon as we broke back below 43s, 1243s, Fib candles were already black on that first breakthrough and that's pretty much all she wrote retracing back against the targets that we had, which were 12.27 and 12.04 is below, then a retest of the extreme structure lows here, 11.79, and we've punched through that region, okay? So this was the, the big test. Are we going to get a resistance swing here, yes or no? The answer is yes. Here's the support swing, now it's resistance. That's a real bearish turn there for gold. And making new structure lows versus these three lows is another uh, bearish nod. Now price is sort of stalled out here in the 1165 uh, camp. I've highlighted these three price points above, 1183s, 1215, and 1233. These are the three most and first important price points north of where gold is right now, and they should be looked at as points to expect overhead resistance. If gold happens to move its way up, looking at the 1220s here and then grinding up to about 12 a 33 would be the first key area of overhead resistance and you would expect to see that area fade with the bears staying in charge. If that changes, we'll take a look at that. We're likely going to pop 10 bucks up to 43. But these levels could come into play sooner. 1183, 1215. We just have to watch to see what happens with price if it's able to move up there. But where price is now, 1165, I have to take you back quite a ways to show you where we're going. And it's pretty clear. This is the monthly chart on gold continuous going back over 14 years here. And from the 250s, making it up to the 1920s here, this first impulse, outside return, second impulse, outside return, it's set to make a final drive down where these price points start to come into play. 11. 18s, um, 1017, and 915. So 
this initial area here, 1118, we're already below the key floor here of this balance beam. A lot of trading commitment here, completely given up by the bulls, and it's all up to the bears where they might want to stall things out. So I've got this uh, ratio target here at 1118, comes in right about that spike, but we're already into this air pocket. Not as much trading here, and below this spike here, we'll expect a trip down to 1017s. We start to build more trading commitment in that area, and it will be interesting to see if we can stall out sooner than later. But the spike here comes in in the very low 900s. So there's the third target there. These are the first three most important price points below where gold is trading right now. And you can see with this white line I've drawn in, that's the shelf. We've just traded a below that supportive shelf there. And with price staying below it, it's just simply uh, a key breakdown. It's like a breakout in the opposite direction here. So there's a lot working against the bull case, uh, more so than there has been in, in a while here since we've been going somewhat sideways. But here's a convincing break below key support. And these are the three next uh, target zones to watch. It's very likely that staying below this threshold here would see price not only hit this first target, but drive down to one of these two extended targets. It's unlikely that we would just hit this first one here and then recover. But something to watch. And the way you would know that is to keep tabs on these three price points here. Uh, assuming we don't move too far away from this area, these would be the first three initial areas to watch. Make sure to use the link at the bottom to sign up for the live room. You can hop in there and watch me talk about this chart as well as others, uh, other stocks, other commodity markets, as well as live day trading. And you can see how all of this works firsthand. Uh, that will do it for your gold update for now, and we will see you back in the live room.